So in this video, I'm gonna create a new virtual switch just using Hyper-V Manager. So I'm not using VMM or any of the more complex options. I'm just gonna create a basic switch. So I have a network adapter that I wanna use for my virtual machines. So I'm going to Virtual Switch Manager and I'll say a new virtual switch. So I wanna type external, because this is gonna use a network adapter, so I have external connectivity. I could use internal if I just wanted connectivity between the host and the VMs, or private if it was just VM to VM connectivity. So I'm gonna say external. I give it a name. So I might say external switch and give it notes. And then I have to select which network adapter I'm going to use. So I'm gonna say that one. So let's go back and look at the adapter a second. So if I look at the properties of the network adapter currently, there we go. It's connected, it's got bindings to the client, file over clustering, QoS, file and print, and all the different IP protocols and discovery layers. But notice it's not mapped to Hyper-V. When I create this switch, what it's actually gonna do is become mapped solely to Hyper-V. Now by default, this allow management operating system to share this network adapter option is selected. Because what this is saying is, suppose I only add a single network adapter in this machine, or all the other network adapters for use for other purposes. With this box checked, what it will actually do is create a virtual network adapter on the host OS that's bound to this external switch. So then I can still get to the operating system using this adapter that's now bound to Hyper-V. Now I have a separate management NIC, so I don't need that. So I'm gonna uncheck that option. Click apply. And that's created. If I now look at that adapter again, what I now see is everything has been unbound. The only thing bound is Hyper-V because now it's exclusively used by Hyper-V. Now I can go back, I can look at that switch and I can say allow the management. And what will happen is notice how many connections I have right now. There's four. When I check that box, what it's gonna do is create a new virtual adapter that's actually using this switch I created so I could then connect and use it. But again, I already have a management network adapter separately, so I don't need it. But that's all that setting does. It allows you to carry on using it through the management partition as well. And that's really all there is to it. That's how I create a virtual switch in Hyper-V.